Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. So this trick you're about to see, this is super cool. It is very flashy, it is visual. Your spectators aren't going to expect it at all. It's just boom, it really is. So by the way, when you learn this, just take your time when you learn this, trust me. Don't try and rush it and go, I can do this straight away. Take your time with it because it's one of the things, it's all muscle memory with, you'll see. You know what, Brandon, shut up. Let's show him the trick. Okay, so here is the effect. So for this trick, we need to find the four ladies. So that's lady number one, which is pretty easy to find, the first lady. The second one's a little bit harder. So it should be around about here. That should be lady number two. Brilliant, we're, we're getting somewhere, guys. So we've got lady number one, here, the number two, if we turn it over, you can see we have the four aces. That's one, two, three, and four aces, guys. And then from here, you can go into any routine you wish. So it's another very cool, fun way to find the four aces. So all that being said, let me show you exactly how to do it. Okay, guys, so here is the setup of the effect. So what you want to do is take two aces, Okay, so I'm using the clubs and diamonds. I'm going to place them face to face, and they're going to go to the bottom of the deck. Now, what you're going to do is place the two queens, okay, in this position. So you're going to have a queen here, here, and here. So you have an ace, queen, queen, ace. These can be any two cards. It doesn't have to be the queens. But just make sure whatever the two cards you're going to use, they are getting sandwiched by the other two queens, uh, two aces, sorry. They're going to go on top. So now you can give the cards a full deck, false cut, false shuffles, making sure you do not disturb the top order and the bottom order. Okay, they have to stay in the exact same position. So please give them any false cuts, false shuffles. I know you will know hundreds and hundreds, but hopefully by now anyway. So to start off, you need to do a double lift. Okay, you need to get a break under the top two cards and turn these over. Okay, so I'm going to show a queen, but secretly I'm hiding an ace. So you're going to do a double lift. Okay, to show the, uh, I'm showing the queen. I'm going to place it down. But now we need to get rid of this top card. So all I'm going to do is slip cut that card into the center, just like so. Now what I do is give these another false cut, making sure it doesn't disturb the top stock and the bottom stock. You don't have to do any double lift with this one. Okay, so look, I'm going to find, when, when I do this, I did a presentation line, I'm going to find the queens. You don't have to do that. Uh, but for this example, I did. So look, the second queen is right here. And all you're going to do is just turn the top card over. Okay, so I'm going to turn the top card over. But at the same time, I'm getting a break under this top card. Okay, so there's no break yet. I'm taking the card. I say, look, the second queen should be here. As soon as this turn this card over, I'm going to get a break. And you can push off. You can pull down just like so. But if you can't do either of those, just turn the card over and then you will have to riffle back at the top to get a break. Okay, so you've got two cards. That's if you're not going to do a push off or a pinky count. When you drop the queen down, you get the break. Okay, you have to lift up. So at speed, that will look like this. And give me a few quick cuts. And the next queen should be about here. And now I've got that break. So there's two cards here. And what you want to do, it's completely up to you how you want to do this. I basically, I bring the cards up and my right thumb is going to hit the corner, the left corner, and my middle finger, the top right corner. So the non-pip corners. And I'm going to bend it down just a little, okay? And at the same time you're doing this, what you want to do is get a break under the bottom card, okay, which is an ace, obviously. So all this is happening in one motion, okay? So let me show you. So you're doing your false cuts. The next queen should be right about here, the queen of diamonds. So from now, I've got a break here. 
and I've got double card here. Okay, and again, when you pick when I pick this card up and I my left fingers and thumb will like basically twist the card. You don't have to do that, and you're just gonna grab a non-index. When you grab this, pull down here, okay? So you've got a break with your left hand under the bottom card, okay? And you're gonna do all this at the same time. So your right hand's gonna come over. Okay, I don't think you'll see this on camera, but this card is gonna get turned over. And as soon as that hits, your right hand is gonna turn over, okay? And basically all you're doing is your index finger, it's just kicking that card down while your left hand and I drop this card onto the table is going to come down okay because you've got that pinky break your hands will be able to come up to show the ace as well all that happens in one motion like if you watch the performance back it's like boom boom and it's done okay so let's bring that back where we was that was here and that was there so we place the first queen down, give these a quick cut, just like so. Then, like I said, what we're going to do is take turn the top card over, no break yet. I get a break as soon as this lands, okay? So now I've got a break here on the two cards. I lift up, grab with my thumb and finger, my right middle finger and thumb on the non-pips. And at the same time, I'm going to get a pinky break with my uh, pinky at the bottom card, or under the bottom card, shall we say. When this hand comes over to turn this card over, you're going to do this. I'm trying to do it all at the same time. This goes down while this goes down and lifts up. It is a little bit tricky, okay, trying to do it all at the same time. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It will be a little bit tricky to do. You just got to practice it a few times. Take your time with it. Slow it down. So remember, you're going to turn this one over, over, over. Just practice that motion a few times. Do it slow, don't do it fast, and I promise you, you will get it. So let me run through that one more time for you guys. Again, guys, the setup is like so. So turn one ace on top of the other ace, so it's like so. They're gonna go to the bottom. And then place any two cards between the two aces. Like I said, I think I did in the performance, I'm gonna find four queens. You don't have to say any of that. But just make sure the two cards are between the two aces. They're going to go down into the pack, uh, on top of the pack. And I'm going to go through it quickly this time. So the cards are false cuts, false shuffles. Making sure you don't flash the bottom card when you're doing all this. Okay. And then you're going to do a double lift. I do a Stuart Gordon turnover. It doesn't matter if you do a normal double. So look, that's one queen. Now I'm going to bury it. Okay. That's an ace. Now you can do your false cuts, false shuffles. Turn the top card over and so say, look, that is the second ace. Get into the same position. I've got a break here and I'm ready to do the move. And I say, look, let's take a look at the, eight, uh, at the queen. You turn it over. As soon as that turns over, you're doing all this at the same time. And that is it, guys. You just want to go over and over and over it. Do it slow. Don't try and rush it because you won't get it straight away if you rush it. Take your time with it. And I promise you, you will get okay, it. Okay, that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, a very cool flashing of the four aces. It does look so cool, doesn't it? More for the move monkeys. You don't expect to find the four aces like boom. But hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. If you are wanting more content like this, more visual tricks, let me know down in the comment section and I will do that for you. But on that note, you know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and also turn the notification bells on. And I'll see you next time.